Oh my God. SEC officials in the SEC are re literally standing with Ripple and saying that we believe Ripple should get the fair notice defense. This is gigantic. All right, guys, and welcome back to a brand new video on the Crypto Geek channel where we talk about the latest and most trending crypto news. Today, we are talking about something just absolutely mind blowing and it's probably going to impact the price of xrp in a very positive way before i get started i do want to mention that i am not a legal or financial advisor so this is not legal or financial advice and if you guys could just destroy this like button subscribe to my channel if you are brand new and comment your thoughts down below it would be absolutely amazing now let's jump right into the video just a few hours ago i think it was about an hour and a half ago we got a brand new document and this document was obviously listed on james k fillin and if you have a quick read it says sec government versus ripple individual defendants file letter and pierce and Roseman statement as supporting motion to dismiss amid significant regulatory uncertainty regarding when digital assets may be classified as securities by the SEC. How big is this? Well, it is huge. This proves a few points that I've been making for a while. Number one, the SEC internally is having problems. You have half of the SEC that believes Ripple should be considered a security and the other half believing Ripple is not, or in this case, XRP, is not a security. And at the same time, you have people that believe that, you know, we should just settle and finish and, you know, because we're going to lose. And then you have other people that are saying, let's battle it till the death. So right now, there are so many problems in the SEC, and they don't know where they want to go from here. To have somebody publicly put out a statement to the judge in emotion is going to just change the whole lawsuit in a few ways and reasons. Number one, once the judge gets this document and uh, this motion, obviously, statement, the judge is going to recognize this big issue that's happening between the SEC and is most likely going to try and side with Ripple on this because this just shows that the SEC does not really know what they're doing. At this point, the SEC just filed a lawsuit for the point of filing a lawsuit, not because they have any evidence or anything that actually backs the idea that XRP is a security. Not only that, with the Hinman deposition, we are going to get so much more information about what is actually going on in the SEC and whether the speech was based on what the SEC's perspective of digital securities and digital currencies are. So I believe we're going to get... As you guys seen, a lot more people coming out clean now and officially siding with whoever they want to side publicly. We've seen that with the uh, Ethereum co-founder that just recently, maybe a few hours after the deposition was declared to be official, decided he would quit. And the reason he gave was personal security reasons. So he's basically, in this case, I don't know, but it definitely sounds suspicious and it looks like he could be possibly somebody that is frightened, especially since Hinman had actually spoken to the Ethereum founders one week before the deposition, or one week before the speech. And now we see, you know, some SEC uh, members here, some F uh, SEC, you know, um, defendants and uh, commissioners, basically coming out clean saying, listen, we agree 100% with XRP and Ripple. They definitely did not get the fair notice and the fair notice should be applied to them because they deserve it. And we didn't give them any notice to tell them, okay, yeah, this is a security. So again, this is only going to impact the lawsuit in a very positive way. And we can clearly see as we keep on going through this lawsuit and as we keep on, you know, getting more out of, uh, the SEC in terms of internal memos as well, which we didn't get a single, or Ripple didn't get a single internal memo, but they officially agreed now that they're going to get internal memos. After we see all of these, it's just going to make things clear as day, and the SEC is going to lose. So this brings us to a very key point. Is the SEC going to settle with Ripple, or is there, or are they going to fight to death? And I'll leave that for another video that's going to be coming up very shortly, where we talk about what is the possibilities 
of the SEC and Ripple actually settling, settling now. We also get a tweet from Jeremy Hogan's, which says, everyone in the XRP community, including myself, owes a debt of gratitude to Commissioner Pierce and Rosamon for telling the truth. First and foremost, and in gifting Ripple this letter from officials at the SEC, it takes bravery to do that, knowing it would be used against the SEC. This again is gigantic. I'm not lying guys here. This is going to change the matter of the whole Ripple versus SEC lawsuit. Once the judge receives this letter and reads it, she's really going to get in shock because these are officials from the SEC itself basically going against their organization and coming out clean. All right, guys, and this is going to go ahead and bring me on to something else. And this is that the official SEC Twitter has now shut down. This is just crazy, guys. But the reality is they shut it down completely. It is now officially gone. And the crazy thing is when I was doing a bit of research to try and find out why, the only thing that I could come up with and the only thing that people were really discussing was the amount of tags they were getting for this XRP Ripple versus SEC lawsuit. They have constantly been getting tagged, not only to go ahead and, you know, try and resolve this big problem that they made for absolutely no reason, and that is the lawsuit that they did with XRP, but also tagged with things that they've said about XRP in the past that goes against what they're saying now. For example, there was an article that they had published in the past and that was actually uh it came back up to surface a few days ago and this was that an article that basically stated that there wasn't any regulatory clarity in the entire cryptocurrency market and that it wasn't crystal clear and this totally goes against what they are saying now they're saying basically now that there is clarity uh, or somewhat of a clarity and this is why they're saying xrp is a security when in reality there isn't any clarity and they even stated it in the past that XRP wasn't crystal clear. And so this again defies their point and just proves everything they're saying now as incorrect. On to our next topic and that is that the SEC is completely not looking at Jed McCallop. If you do not know who Jed McCallop is, he's actually the owner of XLM, but more importantly, he was one of the previous founders of XRP, which eventually split and is now kind of like the ex-founder of XRP. But before he left, he was given kind of like a leave benefit in which he was given a chunk of XRP that he could sell for a certain period of time. And I think the timeline was... Uh, I don't know exactly, but I know it was about five to seven years or something like that. And he could basically sell every year a bit more than he could the previous year. Now, the funniest part about that is the SEC sued uh, Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson. And who are these? These are the founders, but again, these are the ones that didn't split. It was kind of like a three foundation, and now it became two. And they are seeking $1.3 billion. Yes, he claims XRP itself is a security, yet allows Jed McCallop to openly sell his massive holdings of XRP while your XRP on Coinbase is frozen. How much XRP has Jed sold since 12 20 and for how much? Jed McCallop sells around 17 million XRP a day. That is crazy, but that's the reality. This is the crazy amount of XRP he's selling, and yet the SEC totally doesn't look at him all right guys that's gonna bring us to the end of the video if you guys enjoy it please smash the like button comment your thoughts and subscribe to my channel with post notifications on also follow me on twitter guys because i post on there as soon as it comes out so you guys would have basically got the news right away since i posted it on my twitter as it came out not only that guys feel free to drop a join on the discord here's the discord guys and we have a lot of people coming in so drop a join guys join in discuss your thoughts on what you believe is going to happen with the xrp ripple lawsuit and let's make this discord the biggest xrp crypto official discord channel all right guys we also have an official crypto geek instagram so once we get 100 followers i'm going to do a surprise thing on it so make sure you guys drop a follow on it obviously share the twitter instagram and discord 
and follow me. Even guys, if you want to do me an extra favor, drop a join. This is a really cool feature where you basically could join the channel, get yourself some nice little loyalty badge next to your name, and get some nice little custom emojis. It helps me out, and it will make your crypto news experience a lot nicer. That being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, smash the like button, comment your thoughts, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.